Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programas ofrecen muchas lenguas. Ve y visite suprememastertv.com barra oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Para mí es una moto más fiable a ti de mina lugar. Yo researa suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Трета световна война няма да има, но ако продължаваме така, природата ще ни затрие. Природата е Господ. Please watch on for Prophecy of the Golden Age, part 197, Visions of Beloved Bulgarian Mystic, Baba Vanga. vegan side effect. You might feel a surging love from and for others. Noble viewers, Priyatno Mie Dasese Potsnaim These are the Bulgarian words you would hear as the delighted people of Bulgaria say pleased to meet you. I am Belun, the Slavic deity of light, happiness and luck. The spiritually minded Bulgarian people pray that the light of God will uplift you in all that you do. Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed, their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the divine's guidance, and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. In 1911, a frail baby girl was born into a family of humble farmers near the border of Bulgaria and present-day North Macedonia. Her name, Vangelia, meaning messenger who conveys God's will, came true as her destiny unfolded. At the tender age of 12, a terrible dust storm wind funnel enveloped Vangelia and took her two kilometers away. 
she was eventually found in a field covered with dirt and debris, her eyes irreparably damaged. Despite her cries to God for the miracle of sight to return, it seemed that her prayers were unanswered. In young adulthood, while her physical eyes were still disabled, Vangelia's prophetic abilities gradually began developing. Then, in 1941, at the age of 30, she was visited by a man of celestial beauty and radiance, dressed as an ancient warrior. Her room became bright as he entered. <laughs> Sure enough, on April 6, 1941, Yugoslavia was invaded by German forces amidst the Second World War. The celestial messenger told Vanga, Koro, светът се обърка и много народ ще се изгуби. На това място ще стоиш и ще предсказваш за мъртви и живи. Не се бой, аз ще бъда до тебе и ще ти казвам какво да препредаваш. Following those experiences, Vanga, who affectionately came to be known as Baba or Grandmother Vanga, was indeed able to help many people, such as with locating missing loved ones during the war. One of our Bulgarian association members recalls the following. My family had several significant encounters with Vanga. The first time my mother went to visit her, she was driven by a serious concern about my father's and grandmother's health. My father had a serious lung disease with an unclear etiology, and treatment for one diagnosis would be deleterious for the other diagnosis. Vanga immediately said the name of the disease my mother suspected and gave the name of a German specialist on this disease who would attend a conference in Bulgaria, the date and place. Vanga shared the name of the medication my father would need, but recommended the German doctor as Vanga had no formal medical training. My parents met with a specialist and it wasn't long before my father recovered. She helped many people with their illnesses, finding lost people or things, and acted as a bridge between the world of the physically living and the ones who have passed on, including animal people. Some people in high political positions visited her to ask for predictions. The Bulgarian government consulted her on a regular basis. By 1966, word spread of Baba Vanga's remarkable gifts, and the Bulgarian government provided her an income as well as secretaries to aid her work. In addition, research institutions studied her clairvoyant abilities, which she always presented in a loving, wise and down-to-earth manner. Baba Vanga made predictions not only for individuals and families, but also regarding broader changes in the world, at times giving specific years. For example, 2018, True to Baba Vanga's words, in December 2017, the world's first solar power train made its premier journey from Byron Bay, Australia. Sadly, but perhaps unsurprisingly, much of what Baba Vanga foresaw was tragic in nature. She once said, Присъствам на най-горещите точки на планетата и виждам кръвопролития, природни катаклизми, бедствия. Вечер вие спите, 
а аз преживявам трагедиите на всички хора, на целия свят. The following are some of Baba Vanga's predictions that have come true. Курск ще потъне под водата и целият свят ще го оплаква. In the year 2000, two decades after this prediction was made, the reputedly unsinkable Russian nuclear submarine Kursk plummeted to the sea floor in an accident. All 118 crew members lost their lives. The incident was bemoaned internationally, especially when it was found that crew members could have been saved if the Russian government had responded differently. Страх, страх! Американските братя ще паднат, накълвани от птици железни. Вълци ще вият в кората и невинна кръв ще се пролее като река. This is believed to be a prediction of the 9-11 tragedy in 2001, when the twin towers of the World Trade Center in the United States fell packed by iron birds, meaning the airplanes. Wolves howl from the bush might refer to then U.S. President His Excellency George W. Bush's reaction as his name is the word Bush. Regarding environmental disasters, Baba Vanga accurately described what is happening today and or in the near future. Водата ще стане по-скъпо от черното злато, а един ден тя напълно ще изчезне. Ке дойде ден, в златни паници ке ядете и в медни чаши ке пиете, но вода нема да имате. As early as 2025, Experts say that half the world's population will be living in places where there isn't enough water. And it's estimated that by 2040, most of the world won't have enough water to keep up with demand all year long. This, I think, is the worst year we've ever had. We haven't had water for the past six, seven days. We got some water a few days ago, but it was dirty and unusable. According to their study, over nine years of observations from 2006 to 2015, a 25% decrease in bee species was found compared to 1990 data. If the downward trend in bees continues, then in less than 100 years, this species will become completely extinct. Mlakoto ще стане отровно. More milk brands are being pulled from the shelves over E. coli contamination concerns. Lactalis began recalling some of its baby milk products in France. It had discovered the salmonella bacteria in this factory in the northwest. Antibiotics are often used for mastitis, a common and painful inflammation of the udder that causes white blood cells to leach into milk. A liter of milk can have up to 400 million of these cells before it's considered unfit for people to drink. You've got things like estrogen, which is in the milk. That's probably one of the reasons why it is associated with hormone-sensitive cancers. So that's your prostate cancer, breast cancer. The study does support previous research that dairy products increase the risk of Parkinson's disease. So milk, pesticides and brain diseases could still have a common link. Ще дойде ден, когато от лицето на земята ще изчезнат различни растения, зеленчуци, животни. Of the estimated 8 million animal and plant species on earth, 1 million are at risk of extinction. Three quarters of land and two thirds of marine environments have been significantly altered by human actions. The populations of mammals, birds, amphibians, reptiles and fish shrank by 68% on average between 1970 and 2016. In short, animals are becoming extinct at the fastest rate in all of human history. Трета световна война няма да има. Но ако продължаваме така, природата ще ни затрие. 
природата е Господ. From tsunamis, floods, fires and earthquakes to supervolcanoes, sun flares and asteroids, there are many ways that forces of nature could wipe out life on Earth, with some that are already present in our lives at this time, as Supreme Master Ching Hai has warned us. If we are violent, then nature will be violent toward us. Heaven will be violent toward us. Understand. Yes, Master. Even if not heaven or anything, it's the energy, the bad, violent energy will return to us manifold more when the time comes ripe. It's like that. As you saw, so shall you read. You can't prevent anything. You just have to live according to God's law. Thou shall not kill. Много и незнайни болести ще се явят. Хората ще падат по улиците без видима причина и без видимо да са боледували. А това е все още предотвратимо, защото е във вашите ръце. But now China is in the midst of a serious COVID resurgence. Hong Kong is reporting an extremely high death rate. And in Europe, a subvariant of Omicron known as BA2 is causing infections to spike across that continent. Those two Omicron subvariants now accounting for the vast majority of all cases in the US. Health officials are sounding the alarm about a mysterious new outbreak of severe hepatitis in young kids. Worldwide so far, one child has died and 17 have needed liver transplants. Cases of monkeypox, a relatively rare virus, have been confirmed in Europe, Australia, and North America. It is an outbreak in Florida. Cases of meningococcal disease skyrocketing. 10 to 15 percent of uh, patients that get infected will die from it. With so much uh, sickness and pandemics and even old pandemics or old uh, deadly diseases and infections returned and so many disasters everywhere. Uh, I think heaven wants to get rid of all the humans oh. or as many humans as possible. Even though some already changed into a more benevolent lifestyle, like choosing vegan, you know, to reduce karma and reduce destruction for the planet, but not enough. Everyone has to change. Yes. And then the table will return immediately. Mm. Things will get better immediately, almost, okay? A few weeks. Wow. But nobody listens. Veganism encompasses lots of different elements, from health to the environment, and primarily for many people to the rights of animals and compassion for animals, as well as compassion to other people. Tim Thorpe, vegan. Prayerful viewers, thank you for joining us today. Please tune in again next week as we discover more prophecies about our time from the beloved Baba Vanga. Coming up is Our Lady of La Salette, A Call to Return to God, Part 2 of 2, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. May God's love grace each moment of your life. All information concerning the scientific evidence of climate change and its solution is in Supreme Master Ching Hai's book, From Crisis to Peace. 
free for download at crisistopeace.org. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash AP.